can Jira estimate like a Microsoft project? Hello everyone in this video, let us take a look at this uh, interesting question asked by uh, Ricardo about uh, can Jira estimate like a Microsoft project? Well, he is asking about uh, once uh, Jira has all the task and predecessors and successors, can Jira make this estimate based on uh, uh, you know how long it will take, uh, taking into consideration the overlapping task and uh, tasks that can be done in parallel? Well, first of all, you shouldn't be comparing uh, Jira with the Microsoft uh, project. I understand that people, uh, when they start using Jira and they are, if they are coming from Microsoft project, uh, they expect some behavior, which is totally fine, but uh, Jira uh, works slightly differently when you are trying to make a plan, when you are trying to make a roadmap. In Jira, you can't really make a roadmap, uh, at least on the server version, where you can definitely create your, uh, your issues in a project. You can have due dates, you can have some other information like maybe um, the estimate. The time, the time estimate that uh, you think it will take to finish. If you're using Jira Cloud, you have the option to use uh, Next Gen Project, and uh, it comes with uh, a feature of roadmap. However, if you are trying to do something like a Microsoft Project, and I'm trying to understand uh, your question, you are trying to do something based on uh, dependencies between tasks, then my recommendation would be to take a look at uh, Portfolio for Jira. So Portfolio for Jira is an agile uh, road mapping tool for Jira. It works for Jira server version. It, it works on Jira Cloud. On the server version, there is something called as uh, the new improved interface that can actually do what you are trying to uh, do in Jira. Uh, you can also use uh, Portfolio's uh, old version which is not really old which is actually known as the life plan but uh, uh, if you are working with portfolio for jira it can actually do a lot of things it, it is basically a tool that will make uh, or that can actually make a plan based on uh, what you feed into your portfolio so when you're working with portfolio you need you need to feed in uh, uh, the information about uh, different activities that you need to do like all those stories epics uh, you can then feed in uh, your uh, team members. You can then feed in uh, your uh, uh, effort that you think it will take in the beginning. And the good thing about the portfolio is that uh, once you feed in this information, portfolio can make a plan for you. And you are free to either accept the plan or keep on modifying it. So basically when you are happy with the plan or only when you are happy with the plan, proposed by portfolio, you can commit your plan to your project. So when you feed in this info information about your project or different projects to portfolio, uh, based on the plan, based on, uh, let us say, uh, the release dates that it can probably recommend you if you feed in uh, the right information, you, then you can actually accept those uh, changes, accept those, uh, those uh, planned uh, uh, milestones, those dates and the assignments, then you can actually apply it to your project. So do take a look at uh, Portfolio for Jira. That is uh, what my recommendation is. Portfolio can also do a lot of other things like you can also use it to uh, create hierarchy. You can also use uh, Portfolio's uh, program view to monitor what is happening in uh, multiple uh, plans. and. Since we're talking about Portfolio for Jira, I recently made a video series on uh, Portfolio for Jira where I talked about um, how to start using Portfolio. I talked about different aspects, different features of uh, Portfolio, and I covered uh, Portfolio Life Plan and uh, the new improved interface. So if you watch those videos, I'm sure you will uh, benefit from uh, um, the uh, I'm sure you will benefit from uh, those videos and you will learn something um, new. And I hope you can uh, probably forget about uh, MS Project and you can start using Jira the way you want. 
So I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Thank you.